हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द सेशन यू आर वाचिंग केमिस्ट्री विंस यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे टॉपिक इज अल्टीमेट अनालिस ऑफ कोल सो कोल प्रॉक्सिमेट अनालिस प्रीवियस वीडियो लो चूसा इपड़ मन अलमेट अनालिस आफ् कोल चूदा ओके न द अलमेट अनालिस आफ् कोल इनवाल द डिटर्मे आफ पर्संटेज आफ् एलिमेंट्स लाइक कॉर्बन अं हईड्रोजन नईट्रोजन सलफर् ऐश आक्सीजन अलमेट अनालिस अंटे इधे अलमेट अंत दिन मीन अलमेट चवर ओके अंत को उवरी एलिमेंट वरकू मन तेलचेस्ता अलमेट अनालिस अलमेट अंत दिन मीन अदे इंक देश वदल प्राक्सीमेट जस्ट अप्राक्सीमेट ऐश मॉइसर मन कार फिस्ड कॉर्बन कंटू मन वालेटल मैटर मैं डिटर्मस्ता अलाक अभी प्राक्सीमेट अनालिस अलमेट अनालिस असल को उड़े एलिमेंट्स बिल एलिमेंट्स को मन दाट कॉबन हईड्रोजन नईट्रोजन सलफर इवन उ आक्सीजन तो ऐश उ ओके सो ई बिल एलिमेंट्स असल को एलिमेंट्स एलिमेंट्स एंत दीन अनलैजे मन कभी अलमेट अनालिस ओके रईट सो द फस्ट मेजर एलिमेंट्स प्रसेंट इन को कॉबन अंड हईड्रोजन सो को आर्गा कांपौंडे सो का आर्गा काम हईड्रो कॉबने को सो हईड्रो कॉबन अंटे हईड्रोजन उ आक्सीजन उबी सारी सारी हईड्रोजन उबन उबी सारी अंत सो खिता कॉबन हईड्रोजने हई पर्संटेज उल्लोक हय्यस्ट कॉबन उ रईट सो कॉबन हईड्रोजन एला मन डिटर्मस्ता एला अनलैजा अलमेट अनालिस चूँ दिन प्रोसीजर उ एक्सपरमेंटल प्रोसीजर अंडी ओके अंत थिटिकल आस्पेक्ट ए नौन अमौंट आफ् को टेकन इन ए कंबन चेमबर अंड इट ईज बर्न इन एक्सस् आफ आक्सीजन फर् एग्जापल और ग्राम को दाँर कंबन ट्यूबको आक्सीजन प्रसेंस दिन बर्न चयी आक्सीजन ऐडा बर्न अ कॉबन अंड हईड्रोजन प्रसेंट इन दोल शांपल आर् कन्वर्टेड इंटू कॉबन डयाक्सइड अंड वाटर वेपर रेस्पेक्टिवली सो एपड़े को शांपल की आक्सीजन गैस मिक्स बर्न चेस्ो अब को उड़े कॉबन आक्सीजन तो रियाक्ट कॉबन डयाक्सइड गैस रिज़्ली हईड्रोजन रियाक्ट वित् आक्सीजन दट आलो रिज वाटर वेपर दट हेच टू सो ई टू एलिमेंट्स मन को फाम अवता है टू कांपौं फाम अवता है कॉबन डयाक्सइड रिज़्ली वाटर वेपर रिज़्ली रईट दूर मैं एम चेलो चूद नैक्स्ट चूद द लिब सारी The liberated CO2, carbon dioxide, and H2O vapors, water vapors, are passed through two bulbs. So, if you take carbon dioxide, water vapor release out of your coal, then you have two bulbs that are passing. If you look at the two bulbs, and the two tubes, then you know, okay? These bulbs, so what we have to do is to so one, one bulb will have to have anhydrous calcium chloride. One bulb contains calcium chloride. which absorbs water vapor and other bulb contains koh which absorbs carbon dioxide so release aina carbon dioxide ni water ni manamu absorb cheyistam ed absorb cheyistundante water vapor ni manaku calcium chloride absorb cheskuntundi ee chemical and carbon dioxide gas ni potassium hydroxide solution absorb cheskuntundi okay na ila absorb avvalante manaku two bulbs anedi untayi ante oka plastic और ट्यूबला ट्यूब मन सोल्यूशन उतम कैलशियम क्लोइड के कैच लिबरेट गैस कॉबन डयाक्सइड वाटर वेपर ने मन को बर्न चयन गैस बल्ब द्वारा पंपस्ते आ बल्स उएसीएल टू के हेच्च वाटर ने कॉबन डयाक्सइड गैस अबजर्व चुनाई रईट फ्रम द इनक्रीज इन वेट आफ द ट्यूब द पर्संटेज आफ कॉबन अंड हईड्रोजन कैन बी क्यालुलेटेड सो कॉबन डयाक्सइड गैस अबजारब अवक मुझे केओह वेट तक उ बट कॉबन डयाक्सइड गैस ने केओह सोल्यूशन अबजारब् चुस्क तरह केओह वेट इंक्रीज अदे विधा वाटर वेपर अबजारब का मुझे कैलशिम क्लोइड सोल्यूशन या वेट चाल तक तक ओके बट एपड़ वटर वेपर ने कैलशिम क्लोइड तस्को अब दिन वेट पे एंटे वटर वेपर कैलशिम क्लोइड को ऐडें अट देम टाइम पोटाशिम हईड्रक्सइड कॉबन डयाक्सइड गैस इपू पोटाशिम हईड्रक्सइड वेट इंक्रीज सो एंत इंक्रीज दाने बटी मन को पर्संटेज आफ् कॉबन पर्संटेज आफ् हईड्रोजन मन क्या इक चूँ क्या 
percentage of carbon is equal to increase in weight of KOH2 divided by weight of coal taken into 12 divided by 44 into 100. 12 and atomic weight of carbon. Okay, and and CO2 manak molecular weight manak 44 is tundi. So, kabat into 100. Then percentage of hydrogen is equal to increase in weight of CaCl2 tube. In the manak water vapor ni yed absorb this kundi CaCl2. Kabati increase in weight of CaCl2 tube divided by weight of coal taken into 2 ante molecular weight of hydrogen divided by 18 molecular weight of water into 100. So, this e calculation use this e formula use this manamu coal lo unde carbon content ni hydrogen content ni find out chuch. Then let us see the significance. Calorific value of coal is directly proportional to its carbon content. So, carbon content ekku ga unde calorific value gude ekku ga unde. That is the second point lo unde. Greater the percentage of carbon, greater is the calorific value of coal. Then high percentage of hydrogen also increases the calorific value of coal. Carbon to paatu. Carbon to partu, hydrogen would be equal to the coal calorific value. Chala so, that is carbon hydrogen determination. Then, second element determination. Keldam. So, coal low next second element equal to the nitrogen. Equal to the so, coal low carbon hydrogen determination. IP in the nitrogen determination. Chundam, right. The nitrogen present in coal sample is determined by Geldahl's method. This Geldahl's method is determined. This is determined. A noun weight of coal sample is heated with concentrated H2SO4 in presence of potassium sulphate catalyst in a long necked flask, also called as Geldahl's, Geldahl's flask. Okay, Geldahl's flask is long necked flask. Then your neck is long. This flask is a coal sample. This is a coal sample. Concentrated H2SO4 is a and potassium sulfate catalyst to add chain. add this in tarvata heat chain okay baga heat chain heat chess in a pretty important and the young the children the heating will causes the nitrogen in coal to convert into ammonium sulfate mir heat chess in a pudu e 2 n nitrogen o manaku coal lo undi idi h2 so4 to react i manakala convert out nante ammonium sulfate ga convert out undi okay and then the clear solution, this ammonium sulphate is clear solution. Right? The clear solution is transferred into a round bottomed flask and then heated in the excess of sodium hydroxide. This ammonium sulphate is actually nitrogen. This nitrogen is cold. Nitrogen is ammonium sulphate. Then, this ammonium sulphate is sodium hydroxide presence. We heat it. We heat it. We reheat We heat We reheat We reheat We Ammonium sulphate ka sta ammonium release is tundi. Okay na? Plus sodium sulphate water water release out tundi. Then this liberates ammonia and it is made absorbed by uh, standard HCl. Ila release in ammonia ni manamu angels tamante. HCl solution to reaction jerpistam. E HCl solution ammonia te react hai ammonium chloride ka morphin. Ante actual ga hydrochloric acid, standard hydrochloric acid, ammonia ni release in ammonia ni. Absorb this kundi. And ammonia and actual nitrogen NH3 e nitrogen in chochinante manan this kuna coal sample in chochindi. Right? So this is the method of method coal sample and coal sample and nitrogen in manamo ammonia convert this kuna. Then e ammonia ni hydrochloric acid absorb this kundi ammonia chloride. Then the volume of unused HCl is determined by titrating it with standard NaOH. So, HCl mottam ammonia and this code garandi ammonia and tuntun then to entite untundo and the HCl consume outundi. Remaining HCl free ga untundi gada, right? So, dane mana yamanta mante unused HCl and anta. Okay, na? the volume of unused HCl is determined by titrating it with standard NaOH. So, this unused HCl yoko volume yalaman and determine just tamante a HCl ni manamo standard NaOH to titrate just tam simple, simple acid based titration. Thus, the amount of acid neutralized by liberated NH3 is estimated. So, even the unused HCl content man measure this, the used HCl content man ko chest. This used HCl yendu ki use in the ammonia and absorb this code. Okay, na? and the content of HCl used is equal to the content of ammonia. The content of ammonia is nothing but nitrogen. Okay, and the okay, indirect method and coach. Right? Then, 
from the percentage of nitrogen in coal uh, from this the percentage of nitrogen in coal is calculated so e e e use aina hcl content ninchi manamu ammonia nitrogen content manam measure cheyachu ela ante ikkada chudandi oka formula untundi nen next page lo rasayanu right percentage of nitrogen in coal is equal to volume of acid used ante ammonia ni absorb cheskodaniki enta acid use ayindo dani volume into uh, acid yokka normality normality of acid divided by weight of coal into 14 14 ante nitrogen n2 nitrogen molecule yokka atomic weight so n 14 divided by 1000 into 100 then significance nitrogen in coal do not contributes to calorific value hence its presence is undesirable so nitrogen no coal lo unde nitrogen no calorific value ki contribute cheyadu so kabatti coal sample of nitrogen ekku ga unte aa nitrogen manakanta desirable kaadu endukante adi calorific value heat ni ivvatledu okay right simple then third element analysis that is sulfur so coal lo sulfur kuda untundi deen ela determine cheyalo manam experimental procedure chuddam okay theory ekku untundi students so koddiga opic ga video chudandi a noun amount of coal is completely burnt in a bomb calorimeter oka bomb calorimeter teeskondi dantlo coal oka gram of coal ni meeru burn cheyandi the sulfur is converted into sulfates. This is burn jade mala. Coal la unde sulfur kasta sulfates ga marutundi, which is extracted with water. Ah sulfates ni mere water treat cheindi. Ah coal ko water add cheindi heat jaise intervata. Ah sulfates ani ah water la unde pote. This extract is then treated with barium chloride (BaCl2) solution so that sulfates are precipitated as barium sulfate. So, इला वच्चिन water लो उन्डे इस sulfates नी मीरु barium chloride तो treat चेस्ते, barium chloride आ sulfates तो react है इए, barium sulfate, BASO4 गा मारी पोत्तुंदी, ओके ना, then, इस barium sulfate ले actual गा BASO4, इकड S तुन्दी गा देंटे, अधे sulfur मीक तेल सिंदे, right, so, it is filtered, इस barium sulfate नी मीरु filter जेएंडी, washed and dried, dry जेएंड, from the weight of barium sulfate, percentage of sulfur will be calculated. And then it is simple. In the context of barium sulfate, lo, sulfur is sulfur is one of the things coal sample is one of the Okay, na, right. The percentage of sulfur is equal to weight of barium sulfate divided by weight of coal into 32 divided by 233 into 100. 32 is the atomic weight of sulfur, 233 is the molecular weight of barium sulfate into 100. Then significance. Sulfur increases calorific value of coal. Here we have a gamma thin version. Nitrogen calorific value contributes to coal. But coal is sulfur. Calorific value increase out. And uh, coal is heat equal out. And help chest. But during the combustion, it releases corroding gases like sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, which are undesirable. But here uh, is disadvantage. Intente, sulfur oxygen is mixed. Sulfur dioxide gaani, sulfur trioxide ni release is tundi, e burning up do, e two gases so pollution cases the as well as a which are dangerous corroding gases. Okay na? So then the sulfur determination, right? Then ash content determination. The ash content of coal is determined just like proximate analysis. Manam proximate analysis lo choose some ash content ala determine jayalo, ala age determine just some. Kuro kuda the ultimate ultimate analysis lo kuda. Then significance to them. High ash content is not desirable as it decreases calorific value of coal. So ash ekku ga unte manaku calorific value thaggu thundi. So kabatti ash thaggu ga undali coal lo. Ash thaggu produce sayal a coal. Then last and the oxygen. So percentage of oxygen is equal to 100 minus percentage of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, ash. Ante coal lo unde carbon percentage hu, hydrogen percentage hu, Nitrogen percentage, sulfur percentage, ash percentage, we done it ni mano hundred to subtract chases the watch the miglin the intent percentage of oxygen. Right. Significance should know. High percentage of oxygen is undesirable because it decreases calorific value of coal. So oxygen good a coal eco gound. Coal low oxygen eco gounte, adi good in just nante calorific value of coal ni taggistundi ante coal nunchi release ayi heat ni baaga taggichestundi deeni valla manaku aa coal valla peddaga heat raadu okay na right so that is about the ultimate analysis of a coal right so that's it that's it students ee uh, video lo 
మనం నీట్గా డిస్కస్ చేసాము అల్టిమేట్ అనాలిసిస్ని సో థ్యాంక్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్